Hey there gamers and non-gamers who accidentally clicked on this video. Welcome to Sadistic Penguin Studios, where we throw up hot and spicy game reviews with a side of humor. Today we've got a game that's got us saying, what the hell? We're diving right into the Xbox classic Shadows of the Dam. Get ready for a wild ride through the underworld. Get the whole demon thing ages ago and really my memory is absolute rubbish. Oh, I'm sure it will come back to you in no time. Relax, amigo. This is going to be an adventure. Our very own road movie. And the best part is, you never know what's waiting around the bend. Shadows of the Dam is a game that's so bizarre it makes our grandma's meatloaf look normal. Ma, the meatloaf! Fuck! It's brought to you by the unholy trinity of game developers, Kochi Suda, Shinji Mikiyami, and Akira Yamaoka. And it's like they put their creative minds in a blender and hit the insane button. Our hero in this infernal adventure is Garcia Hatsp, a demon hunter with a knack for stylish fashion and a talking skull psychic named Johnson. Yes, you heard me right, a talking skull psychic. Johnson's like the Siri of the underworld, only way more entertaining with an attitude that could put Deadpool to shame. I'm not wearing anything but a smile. <laughs> Oh my god, 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 Now that is a big boner. Now the story here is as nuts as a squirrel on a double espresso shot. Garcia's on a mission to save his girlfriend from a lord of demons. And a plot twists and turns more than a pretzel factory in an earthquake. Well that's uh that's deplorable. Shadows of the Dam has more weird enemies than Alien Zoo. From demon goats to skeletal mariachi bands, you never know what's coming next. The gameplay's got a mix of action, puzzle solving, and a side of humor that's darker than your grandmother's burnt cookies. The game's visuals are like a nightmare on a psychedelic roller coaster. It's dark, twisted, and loaded with over the top gore, but it somehow manages to be as charming as a zombie pup. The real star of the show, besides Johnson, is a rock-inspired soundtrack by Akira Yamaoka. It's like a jam session in hell, and it rocks harder than your dad's air guitar solos. Now, Shadows of the Dam isn't without its quirks. The gameplay can be a little bit repetitive, and the humor might not be everyone's cup of tea. But if you're looking for a game that's unique, fun, and wackier than a barrel of monkeys on helium, you found it. Taste my big butter. You like it, huh? Shadows of the Dam is a wild, hilarious, and bonkers trip to the underworld that'll keep you entertained and laughing throughout. If you're not afraid of a little demon slaying and lots of crazy humor, give it a shot. Men like us don't mix. Wait, 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 wait. Who's that a come on? Hard like hard. Experienced. Just forget it. Thanks for checking out this video. If you have played this game or have any other gaming gems you'd like us to review, drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Sadistic Penguin Studios for podcasts, gaming reviews, movie reviews, and even music reviews. We'll catch you in the next video, and until then, keep gaming and stay weird.